Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video. It's not a video test, but we can look at it that way if you want, because right now it is raining pretty hard. Windshield wipers going back and forth. And uh, if we're gonna have any major issues with this video, as far as focus hunting, uh, anything, uh, it's gonna happen now. Now, it may go out of focus really quick and then come back because of all the action that's going on out there with the rain, the windshield wipers. But you're going to let me know down below because I'm paying attention to the road. I don't want a hydroplane, so I'm trying to just drive at a normal speed. I do got to go over here to the next lane. Uh, but I wanted to mention really quick a few videos ago, I put out a uh, Google Pixel 4 XL taking on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. And uh, I'm getting some major positive responses on the 4 XL. It seems as though there's a lot of you that own the 4 XL and you're wanting to uh, get the latest and greatest from Google, possibly trading that device in and uh, using the funds to purchase the 4XL. But after watching that video, a lot of you have determined that as far as what I've given you with the point and shoot as raw as it gets type comparison, that your 4XL is still worth keeping. you're realizing when it comes to the cameras and taking that quick picture of whatever it is that you're taking a picture of that your 4XL is doing the job it's getting it done even in 2021 and and I'm pretty sure you're just not getting that from my comparison I'm sure you're watching other comparisons as far as I'm, and I'm talking to those uh, viewers, team players that have left feedback in that video. Now, for those of you watching this video and you have a 4XL, go check out that video and you let me know down below in the comment section. But I have the 4XL and I have the 6 Pro. Uh, so for those of you uh, that watch that video and there's a lot of feedback, uh, you're digging what you're seeing uh, with the 6 Pro, but you're also digging what you're seeing from the 4XL and, I, and I'm assuming again that you're doing other homework to get to that final decision and saying you know what I'm going to stay with uh, my Google Pixel 4XL I get it man it's your money it's you work hard for it and you're making a fin financial decision and uh, and you're happy with what you have or if you don't have a 4XL and you've watched that video do some hunting you can find one out there do your homework though uh, because uh, most of what you're going to be getting is going to be refurbished, renewed, and you got to make sure who you're buying it from. A third-party seller is going to sell you something that's really good and, uh, or, I mean, to great. So when you find these third-party sellers, whether it's over at Amazon or wherever you're going, make sure that when you're emailing or sending them uh, messages through whatever 
uh, you know, however you're sending the messages to them, to that company, ask every question in the book. If they're not responding to your questions, then go to the next third party seller. You gotta make sure you're having good communication, you're, you're getting the answers that you need, uh, and feeling good about spending your money on a refurbished, renewed Google Pixel 4 XL. So, so with that, that's it. I'm done. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching uh, all the videos on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. More to come. Uh, but thank you very much. And it's cool to see that even in 2021, the 4XL is getting the job done. All right. God bless. Peace. I'm out.